In this lesson, we'll be able to gather data from a collection of items, organize a list, and draw tally marks to represent each item, then represent it using a graph. Your child may create a bar graph using the data they collected. For example, you may want to graph fruits in your home. They would list the different fruits and organize a list, then tally the number of each. Let's say you have bananas, oranges, and apples. You have four bananas, three oranges, and six apples. After you tally, then use the information that was gathered to organize a graph. First, I'm going to list the numbers along the side. Then, below, I will list the fruits. In looking at my tally marks, I will color in the number of fruits. You have now created a data graph by graphing four bananas, three oranges, and six apples. Another example of items you could find around your house could be coins. You could find pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. Let's say you found eight pennies, and you found six nickels, you found seven dimes, and you only found three quarters. You would then take those tally marks and turn them into a data bar graph. You had eight pennies, six nickels, seven dimes, and three quarters. There is another example of making a data bar graph using money. In this lesson, we were able to do this activity by gathering data, making a list, and drawing tally marks, then represent it using a graph.